okay. So I was thinking about the many opportunities we have to walk in fear nearly every day. The opportunity presents itself to us in some way or another to walk in fear. Especially in this last couple of years, you have the pandemic, the virus going around, then you have people who are afraid of the vaccination. If you have children in school, you have the opportunity to be afraid to send them or afraid uh, not to send them or whatever the case might be, right? In general, there's just so many things in life that we have the opportunity to fear, not just in the last couple of years. I just wanted to encourage you, do not let fear ruin your life. Do not let fear grip you and control your life because if you allow a little bit of fear in, guess what? Fear will begin to multiply and will begin to trample over into other areas of your life and you don't even know it. Sometimes we are dealing with an underlying spirit of fear without even recognizing it. And it literally controls what we do or even what we don't do. You can miss opportunities because of fear. You could have this underlying uh, desire, but you won't do it because of fear. There are so many ways that we can be in fear and not even know it. Second Timothy chapter one says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. The areas that the temptation is there to fear. I want you to begin to ask God for more understanding of his power. And then I want you to learn more about his love towards you because that will literally combat fear. Some people have fear of the future, but they don't realize that God is a God of the future. In Jeremiah 29 and 11, it says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. In other words, I have plans to bring you into a good future. It doesn't matter what this world's future is. Your future is good. Your future is bright. If you are in Christ, we have a hope and we have a future in him. The last thing First Timothy says, and he's given us a sound mind. So, in order to get the sound mind that he's already given us the ability to have, we need to get into his word and we need to get into the understanding of his word. And guess what? Fear will be wiped away. So, any area that you are dealing with just even a little bit of fear, I want you to come into unity with God and allow him to pour out his love on you. Allow him to show you his power because he's giving you power to trample over every serpent. And the Bible says that nothing shall by any means hurt us. So we don't have to walk in fear. Allow God to give you his power, his love, and a sound mind. And do not let fear control your life.